I wanted to share a flip through of my completed journal today. This is the journal that I made early last year. I started this journal in April 23 and I've just finished it in January 2024. So this is probably the longest that I've been in a journal. I usually finish or fill up one of these journals in like four to six months. This one's taken me a little bit longer and I think that's just because the past year I've just been quite busy and honestly I haven't been journaling as often or as regularly as I usually do. So it's taken me a little bit longer to fill up all the pages in here but I think it's really important not to focus too much on that and just to allow your journal to be something that you can come back to and it's okay to take a pause. It doesn't matter how long that pause is, you can always come back to your journal and you can continue in the same journal. It doesn't matter if you take a break. So a lot of people kind of take that as a bit of a roadblock in journaling if they stop for a few weeks or a few months or even a few days, they feel like they need to start a whole new journal when they pick it back up. And I strongly disagree with that. I think if you have a journal and you take a pause in your life, it's completely okay to come back to that same journal and just to continue on with it. And actually it's so satisfying when you do finally complete a journal and it's well worth it. It's just a good reminder that absolutely everybody has busy lives. Everybody takes breaks from things or has interruptions in their life that maybe prevents them from sticking to their original plan and it's totally okay just to give yourself a little bit of leeway and a little bit of um, space and take away some of that pressure and just allow yourself to make up your own rules when it comes to journaling. So with all of that said, this journal is a soft cover journal. I do have a video flip through of this journal before I started working on it. I made this journal pretty much the same way as I always do, but this one was a soft fabric cover, so it was a little bit different. Um, and yes, so the cover of this journal has this little window here, and then you can peek through to the first page. And I put this cute little storybook image on the first page so you can see this sweet little girl peeking through. And then underneath that, when you flip it up, I put one of my book plates. I put my name, I put when I started and when I finished. Then in the first few pages, I was just sort of breaking in the journal and doing a little bit of writing to sort of introduce myself and introduce this journal. I have this little printable in my Etsy store where you can fill out an about me sheet. It's a little kit for starting your first journal page. So. I can link that down below. On this page, I just stuck some random stickers. So things that came on envelopes in the mail and stuff that came from things that we bought, like clothes that we bought. My journal is very scrapbooky. So I do both a mixture of journaling and I also stick things from my life. I do a lot of that. Um, in my next journal, I would like to do more writing and I think I'm going to encourage that by starting with more plain pages. But in this journal, it's very much scrapbooky there's lots and lots of fun things stuck inside here so this is a card that i got at christmas so this was from my family my husband and my kids and then i uh, just stuck in some little notes that my kids write so this one was actually to their dad which i thought was really cute this is a picture from a magazine and then i just stuck these words on the top and then i've got more clothing tags and this little tag from something i bought at the op shop and then this envelope is actually from Something that I bought maybe on eBay, maybe some stickers or something. I just kept the envelope and I stuck it in with washi tape. And then inside I stuck another one of these cute notes from my kids. My kids wrapped me a whole lot of sweet letters. And sometimes there's just so many of them that a lot of them end up in my journal. So here I've just done some written journaling directly on the page. This is some recent ephemera from Donut King. So this was obviously a promotion with the new Mean Girls movie and this was on the box. So I just cut out the parts of the box that I thought were cool. I thought this was a really clever way to kind of collab with Donut King. I actually haven't seen the movie and I'm not really interested in seeing the movie because I like the original. But um, on this page, I just stuck some pictures of my kids again. So, so just directly on the page and then I've just written straight down on the page here. This is actually a piece of a junk mail envelope in the background. So I just glued that down to give me a bit of texture and somewhere I can write on top of. And then this is just from a dress that I bought. 
On the next page, again, more pictures of my kids. So I think these particular papers, I just really liked the vintage imagery on here and I didn't want to cover them up too much. So I kept it really simple with some photos and just wrote where those photos were taken. This is a napkin from one of my kids' birthday parties, which I just attached to the top of the page. And then this is a really fun little piece that my friend sent to me in the mail. She sent me a couple of these and they are scattered throughout this journal. So they actually fold out and this one's Pirates. And I've just added a little paper clip at the top to stop it from going, from flapping all over the place. This is a page from Christmas. So I took lots of Polaroid pictures on my Instax at Christmas. Uh, pictures of the family and of our setup on Christmas Day and then I just attached them across the page here so I used double-sided tape to attach those and then I kept some random things from Christmas so this is like a gift these are from the bonbons and then there's some wrapping paper tucked inside this paper bag as well and then on the following page I stuck more wrapping paper and then this is actually from our paper chains that we made so they're very squished up in my journal now and they don't really look like paper chains but I thought that it was kind of fun to keep a piece of that so I just stapled that into the book. You can actually see the paper chains in the photo beside it and then on both sides of the page is more wrapping paper from Christmas so very very simple. Here I've just done a little bit of journaling on a doily and then stuck some stickers and then I bought these really pretty postage stamps and I stuck a few of them in my journal to keep and then I did some writing directly on the page and there's some random stickers that have come off things that I just like to stick into my book as well. So here as well is a good example of that. This is from like a little price tag from the op shop and then another sticky note from my daughter and then some random little packaging barcodes and some more postage stamps. So these postage stamps I bought to use in my paper crafts and to decorate my journals. And then these ones actually cut out of envelopes and things that I had bought and received in the mail. This is just a page from a magazine which I glued in. And then I've just got a couple more pictures here uh, of my daughter and my niece. Again, more pictures. So this is me and my sisters and my mum. And then this cute little sticky note, again, just something that my daughter wrote that was kind of floating around the house that I thought was really, really cute. So I stapled it in. And then over here, I kept the perfume packaging from some perfume my husband got me for Christmas. And a really fun thing to do, which I like to do in my journals, is to actually spray the perfume onto the page where I keep the perfume packaging. And then you can kind of incorporate a fun little extra sense in your journal so when you smell the page you can remember what that smelled like. This is a really recent page I did. This was actually for Junk Journal January and I have a process video on how I did this spread so it's just really random bits and pieces that I mashed all together into a page. So I've got a sticky note here with some journaling. Uh, this is from a Pluto game that I played with my family and then there's some journaling inside this envelope so I just did some doodling on the envelope I've also got some pressed clovers on the page a vintage postcard so this is not my name or my address it's just a vintage postcard and then a quote and just some random stickers and stuff so that carries through to the next page and then here I kept all of these bread tags so I started just collecting bread tags around Christmas time and then I just continued adding to them. I've actually got some more that I need to staple in. So I just thought that was a fun thing to include. And it has the dates on the bread tag. So it gives you a nice rough time period of when you were doing your journaling. It's a cute little wolf that my son drew. And then I just journaled about that and tucked it inside the paper bag. More writing directly on the page. And then this is just a storybook paper. So here I've got some pressed flowers, which I laminated. So that just keeps them nice and safe. And then I've included that with some washi tape so you can lift it up. And I've got some journaling about my daughter and a picture of her. And then these are some beautiful butterfly stickers which I just laid out on the page. This was a page I did for Easter last year. So I included this beautiful book paper. And then this is packaging from some cute little egg cups that I bought. Um, the packaging was so pretty so I had to keep that and then on the back of it I kept some chocolate wrapper and then there's some more chocolate wrappers directly on the page here and then I just decorated the page with some stickers and stuff and then it follows through to the next page. So again I've got more packaging, I've done some journaling on the back of this cute little postcard 
and then some more journaling on packaging and just random bits of paper and decoration that I had. So like little bunnies and carrots and washi tape. Then this is out of a book as well and it flips down and then I've got some more journaling under there with some more cute stickers and decoration. So I just included lots of cute little animals that you could associate with Easter. This is a film photo that I had developed. Again, it's my kids out the front of our house. And then I just did some journaling directly on the page. And then over here again, some more journaling directly on the page. This is from a little Beatrix Potter book. So it's like the first page or the back page of a book. Just some random stickers to decorate. And then again, more journaling directly on the page. And then this is some beautiful washi tapes some of my favorite washi tape and some beautiful book pages here. So this one folds out, gorgeous flowers. And then I just kept this little piece here, which flips down. I haven't done anything underneath though. Here I've got more written journaling. So there is a bit of journaling in here, but a lot of it is hidden away. I don't often do journaling like this where everything's just out on display. Usually it's hidden away in pockets and on notepaper, tucked into envelopes and stuff. But there's quite a lot of journaling here. There is a couple of pages in here that I haven't added anything to because I have a specific purpose in mind for these pages. So these kind of carnival inspired pages I'm saving to add some photos of the carnival that's at our town this year. So we go to the carnival each year when it visits our town and I'm saving these pages and a couple of other ones to add our photos from this year. So there will be a couple of things added there. Here on this page, I have a list. It's a spring cleaning list. So I just wrote out all the things that I wanted to get done. And then this is a map that I created for my little travel journal. So this is actually a part of a, a class that I have on Teachable called The Local Tourist, where we create this journal here. And basically we go traveling in our own town and we collect things and it's an entire process from start to finish. So making the journal, filling the journal up, creating ephemera for it. So that's what that is from. Um, I'll link that down below as well in case you haven't seen it yet. Here I've got some cute little notes inside there and then some pictures again of my sisters and my mum. And then this page, I just did some journaling about self-care. So some different activities you can do to kind of cheer up and take care of yourself as well as some feel-good songs. This is just from a magazine, so is this, so I just cut that out. This page, I typed out some stuff to get done around the home, so things to buy, things to do, projects to do, and I just highlighted the things that we'd completed. There may be more things on here that I need to check off, but that was just a fun little checklist. And then this is just a little sticker from a parcel that was returned to me. Uh, here I've done some journaling about some little chicks. So I had to hatch these six little chicken eggs in the incubator for my mother-in-law. It was such a scary and fun and cute process hatching the chicks and then taking care of them. So I included some photos of them there and then just did some journaling. This is another one of those little fold out paper doll things that my friend sent to me. So this one I attached to the page in a way that when you open it, it's kind of like a pop-up in the book. And then this is a cute little sticker from my daughter. And then there's another one of those return to send a parcel stickers at the bottom there. Again, more pictures of my kids. And this is a note from a vintage school desk that I bought for my daughter. Just did some journaling about that. I've got more cute little sticky notes from my kids. This one's so cute. It says, Mum, I love you because I like that you are so, 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 so nice. <laughs> uh, and then I've just done some journaling some writing straight on the page and then some more journaling tucked inside this is actually on the back of a vintage recipe card so I just thought that that was a cool piece of ephemera and then some more journaling directly on the page and then I also like to add little quotes to my journals so this was some journaling about my sister's birthday dinner and I just included some photos again of my daughter and my niece the little besties and then I've got some more photos here just floating in a pocket this is a little piece from a magazine that I cut out and then just a bit of journaling inside an envelope. So again, a lot of my journaling is actually hidden away rather than directly on the page. Some more journaling here tucked inside the pocket. And then these are just some um, ephemera pieces from my new 2024 planner and calendar. Again, more really cute notes from my kids just stuck to the page and tucked into pockets. 
And then I did some painting with black acrylic paint and just wrote on the top with white pen. Here are some more carnival related papers, which again, I'm saving for when we go to the carnival. I just feel like these pages are so pretty and they need to have the right themed ephemera to go with them. Just a quote up here and then I printed out some of my favorite comfort movies to watch. So I just stuck them into a page on my iPad in Procreate and then printed it out and stuck it in. And then I've just done some journaling directly on the page. Just some little sketches and journaling, little notes and ideas. This page, again, done some journaling directly on the page and then I've got some fun little things. So I actually have a process video on this page. But there's a cute little paper doll inside there. And then this flips out. I've got some pictures of my daughter and I and then some more journaling hidden underneath. So I think this might have been for an interactive page. Again, I do have the process video for this journaling. So I've got some journaling tucked inside an envelope and then some stuff directly on the page as well. And then this butterfly, more journaling underneath the wings and then I created this little heart which folds out and I use some little words which I typed on my typewriter and just cut them out and stuck them across the love heart so so that just keeps closed with this cute little flower clip and then on the back this is a wallpaper pocket and then I've got inside a flashcard again with some more journaling inside so here I wrote ways to spend time alone, just wrote a list of different ideas of things you can do on your own. On this page, I included some pictures of myself. So I don't, I don't really take a whole lot of pictures that have me in them. I take a lot of pictures of my family and of other people around me. So I wanted to make sure I included some pictures of myself. So this is when I took my kids down to the netball courts and they were just doing some bike riding. So there's some more pictures here of my daughter and I and I just wrote her name with stickers and yeah just included pretty much all the pictures and then these are some little paint chip samples so this was when I was painting I think I was painting a cupboard I did this spread after I watched the Barbie movie so I printed out a bunch of Barbie pictures and kind of did a collage with stickers and then I typed out some lyrics to the song from the Barbie movie and then this is a picture that I reprinted, but it's an old picture of me with my Barbie. So I thought that was perfect. And then I also included some quotes from the movie. I included my cinema ticket. And then inside this envelope, I did some journaling, um, kind of like a review of the movie and my thoughts about the movie. And just more imagery and more quotes from the movie. Just some random journaling here, like kind of like a bit of a collage happening here. And then this is just from going out for dinner. And then this is like a collage of different plants from magazines and this beautiful scrap of paper, which I didn't want to cover up. This is some packaging from a canopy that I bought for my daughter's room. So this is a picture of her room, like a small little portion of her room, but she's got her wallpaper wall, these little bedside tables, which I painted blue and then the canopy. And then I've just done some journaling about that and I added this in with washi tape because I liked having that shaped page. Another picture of my sister and I when she graduated, she's gonna be a paramedic. Just some song lyrics there. And then this is a page I did about some horror movies. So I have a process video on this spread as well if you wanna see this spread come together. But just got some things tucked into pockets and just lots of sticker decoration for that page. On this page, I have some really random ephemera just stuck all together. This is all from different things and different times. So you don't have to create a page where everything is from the same day. If you have random things floating around, you can always just stick them all together. So I've got some random things here, like some different bits of packaging. Um, this is from some stickers from Sticky Club. This is from, I don't know, maybe some golden books that I bought on eBay. And then here I did some, I did like a little splodge of black acrylic paint and then I just wrote and drew on top with white pen. And then I did some journaling here and here and then inside the envelope there's also some journaling. Then on this page, I did a little spread for my daughter's birthday. So I included one of the napkins that we had at her birthday. She wanted to have a bike riding party, which was really cute. It was completely her idea. 
And so I just included some photos of her party. I did some journaling about it. I added some decorations to the page. I put a picture of the cake that I made her. I think this is probably one of my best cakes. It's like a little jewelry box cake. And she picked out the cake as well. So she requested it and I had a lot of fun making it for her. This is from an art gallery my kids were involved in, which was really, really cool. I just kept that and tucked it into the page. And then I have some random photos here. So uh, Instax photo and then just a printed picture stuck directly to the page and I haven't really done any journaling. Here. More notes from my kids here. So again, just kind of stuck all together and probably from different times, different days. Packaging from things. So these are from some linen threads that I bought to bind books and from some clothes, and some notes. So um, notes that you get with things that you buy. It's a picture of me and my friend Britt. And then on the back here, this is a cinema program. So this pulls all the way out. You can have a look at the movies that were on at this time. And then I've got our cinema tickets glued to the page behind that as well. So this was from the same time. These are some film photos of my family. So at home and at the beach. And then I just did some journaling on the page here. And this is just some really pretty scrap of paper. So I didn't want to cover it up completely. This is another spread with photos of my daughter and my niece. Having a sleepover, I've just decorated the page with different collage papers and then I think I did some journaling in the envelope here on a doily which was really cute and I put this pretty little envelope seal there. On this page I kept some I kept some of my old packaging and then I put my new packaging because I did some rebranding last year. So this is my old packaging here and then this is the new packaging on this side and the sticker across the bottom. And then this is just a nice little note from JD, which I included on this page because it's very kind and very encouraging. So I took that into that spread as well. We're getting to the last few pages here. Here's a couple more sticky notes from my daughter, which again, I just stuffed directly to the page. And this is some beautiful scrap of paper, which again, I didn't really want to cover, cover all the way up. So I find that towards the end of the book, it does get quite random with things that I include. I often have a pile of things that I intended to stick into my journal, which I hadn't got to. So when I'm finishing up the last few pages, I go through all of the things that I've saved and I try and work them into the last few pages. So I've got an envelope here from um, one of my kids' school teachers and then some different packaging and some scraps of paper, which I've just glued to the page. This page I haven't done anything on. I really like the look of this page, so I'm happy just to leave it anyway, but I can always come back and stick something on there. I've done some written journaling on this envelope and then this is just a really old piece of ephemera, which I had and I decided to glue in. Here I've done a list and I've used different colored highlighters to kind of decorate it. I really like highlighting things in my journal. I think it's a really nice touch. And then over here, I did some journaling on top of a children's book page with white pen because the illustration was quite dark. So the white pen worked really well. And then this is just some pretty washi tape. I pulled this image out of a Frankie magazine. It's uh, it's like a screen grab from Mrs. Doubtfire. And then over here I did another splodge of black acrylic paint and wrote on the top with white pen. And I made a bit of a mess of it and my fingers got paint on them. So I decided just to do some fingerprints on the page. I think that's really fun as well. You can actually see, you can actually see my fingerprints on the page. So that's kind of fun. And then I've got another paint chip sample. I think this was from when I painted my daughter's bedside drawers. And another one of these fold out pieces, this one is a robot, so it just pulls all the way out. And that is the last page of my journal. So that is how I filled up this journal. Again, got lots and lots of random stuff in here. I need to get started making myself a new journal. I'm really, really excited. I just haven't had much time because it's the school holidays here. So I've had my kids home and I haven't really been doing much work at all. So I need to get started making myself a new journal. And once I do do that, I'll share a flip through of it empty and then I will start to fill it up and eventually there'll be another flip through. So, so I've got some ideas, excited to get started on that. If anybody has any questions regarding this journal or this flip through or anything, you can leave them in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you enjoyed this little flip through. I hope you're feeling inspired to journal yourself. I hope you're all doing really well and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Bye.